what is up guys it's me mr mugma and in today's video i'm going to be talking about whether or not anime defenders is a good game and whether or not it's worth playing before we get into it make sure to like and subscribe as we're so close to 3,000 subs and without further ado let's get right into it okay so if you guys don't know anime defenders is a fairly new tower defense game on roblox dropping on may 26th which is sunday so this is really new to the platform at the time of recording only been out for a couple of hours now anime defenders is a very new tower defense that innovates on a lot of stuff that we've gotten previously but what is anime defenders and like why is it worth playing or not worth playing so as i said anime defenders is a tower defense game similar to anime adventures and anime world tower defense however guys anime defenders is probably the best quality anime tower defense we've seen since like the peak of awtd or the peak of aa and the reason I say this is all of the units look extremely good, cosmetics are good, and there's some other quality of life features that I'll be talking about later in this video that push the game up to that extra level of quality. Now, I've gotten a lot of comments regarding Anime Defenders and Anime Vanguards, basically saying that Anime Defenders pales in comparison to Anime Vanguards, but I kind of want to make a couple points for that and a couple points against that. So Anime Vanguards, as you guys know, is another high quality tower defense game dropping soon and the main point of contention i've seen is the community seems to be fairly against each other for example anime defenders players stick to their game and anime vanguards players stick to their game but what does this actually mean so a lot of players that i've seen from anime vanguards the side of the community have basically been attacking anime defenders for example having low amounts of actual content in the game low quality graphics and hard to get gems but are any of these things actually true the first thing i want to go over is the hard to get gems because that is probably the most like valid and fair criticism out of all of them i've played anime defenders for a couple hours at this point i'll put some gameplay up on screen that way you guys have something to watch but anime defenders is a very difficult game to actually get gems in guys like it's probably one of the most difficult tower defenses to get a mythic like which i mean not a mythic but like the highest rarity of unit it's probably the most difficult game to get like a high rarity unit in and my reasoning for this mythics in this game are one in 400 which the pity is also 400 so that kind of helps but alongside this the mythics, like, you have to spend 50 gems per pull to get them, and 50 gems is not easy to get. I mean, for example, they dropped a couple of codes. All the codes give 50 gems, minus one that gives 500. Aside from that, all of them give fairly little gems, and honestly, I would say the codes are kind of a joke. But if you actually grind the game, I found a couple of ways to get decent amounts of gems. For example, challenges and other stuff like that, infinites. But honestly, nothing seems to really give a ton of gems in this game, which I'm kind of concerned for. And yeah, I don't know how that's going to end out. I've been able to get a mythical, but I know there's a lot of people that haven't. Tell me what you guys think below, but let's get into the next point against anime defenders. Alright, so the next point we have against anime defenders is the lack of content within the game. And this is a point which I'll kind of be going against because I actually don't agree with this quite that much. Because basically a lot of anime vanguards players are saying, oh, anime defenders has barely any content, it's not worth playing, like they're gonna fall off immediately. And honestly, what I think of this, I think it's just straight up not true. Like, yeah, it's true that they don't have content right now, but if we look back at AA, what did AA have on release? they had basically story mode evolution and that was it like this game has that and trading off release like trading on release is pretty good in my opinion and also helps to get like some interest around the economy also having trading on release as content kind of makes a lot more videos like available to make for youtubers as well because i know a lot of people have already made like trading videos trying to get certain units and i certainly think that's a positive for the community as a whole but i do get people's criticisms however i think that things like raids and portals i mean we already got raids confirmed there's a building in the lobby that literally says raids coming soon as for portals i suspect they'll probably be added within like update three or four but yeah overall i think the content thing is kind of somewhat true but also easily debatable against considering that a lot of other tower defenses drop with similar amounts or even less content anyways let's get into the last point against anime defenders 
all right so the last point that i've seen a lot of people talking about is how anime vanguards and anime adventures graphics are much better than anime defenders now for this i kind of want to take a look at a different game called anime last stand and just compare anime defenders to that so anime last stand and this is probably one of my least favorite tower defense games of all time their uis like guis and units are honestly rather laughable when it comes to other tower defense games and yet anime defenders still pulls thousands of players consistently now people seem to be thinking that bad graphics are cause for a game's downfall which i think is just simply not true i mean as we see with anime last stand it's able to get thousands of players while having honestly laughable graphics really bad honestly but this game, Anime Defenders, is it even true that it has bad graphics? Like, can you look at this and tell me that it actually has bad graphics? Because honestly, the shading is done really well within the game. I think there's cell shading, I believe that's the type of shading they use. On top of that, the unit's clothings are for the most part 3D. We have numerous cosmetics within the game. All the maps are fairly well modeled. Basically, all the content seems to be polished. While we don't have much, at least the graphic side of it seems to be extremely polished so i don't really get what people's like main concerns are regarding the graphics there is one thing i want to mention and that is whenever you inspect a unit it does kind of look a little bit goofy for right now so i think the game could benefit from honestly redoing the inspect because i feel like that's kind of cooked right now until they redo that it's gonna look a little bit wonky but i think overall the graphics as a whole you cannot tell me with a straight face that they're that bad Anyways, is Anime Defenders like a good game overall and will it actually compare to Anime Vanguards and other games that are dropping on the platform? And my response to this, honestly, yeah. Anime Defenders, I feel like, is probably going to coexist with Anime Vanguards. We'll see how this goes. I'm either going to be really accurate or Anime Defenders might actually die. Or who knows, it may take over Anime Vanguards. But I feel like certainly Anime Defenders is bringing a lot of new stuff to the table. And it's really exciting to see it kind of shake up the formula. And who knows, it might cause other tower defense games to innovate on their formulas even more. Leading to an even more exciting realm of games that we can play hopefully in the future. Anyways, that's all for this video. Let me know your current thoughts on anime defenders below and whether or not you think it's worth playing. If I missed anything in this video or if you have anything to add, leave that below as well. And I highly appreciate all of your comments. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. This is me, Mr. Mugma, signing off. Have a great day. Goodbye.